In this video, we're going to cover how to get started with the Fusion Reactor Cloud. During this video, we will be following the product installation guide, which will appear when you log into the cloud for the first time. If at any point you need to view the guide again, you can access it under the Help menu in the top right. This process is also documented in the Quick Start Guide within the documentation. A link to this will be in the video description. The first step to getting started with the cloud is to register for a cloud trial, which for the purposes of this video we have already done. You can register by going to app.fusionreactor.io. Once registered and logged in, you can begin configuring a Fusion Reactor agent that will collect and send data to the cloud. The first step in installing the agent is to create a directory for the Fusion Reactor instance. Select your language and operating system, then copy the command to create an instance directory. When creating the directory, change the instance name to reflect the instance, for example, CF2018 or Lucy5. It is important to make sure that the user running your application server can read and write to the instance directory. With the directory in place, we now need to download the files for Fusion Reactor. We require both the fusionreactor.jar and the debug library, which we will get using curl. To do this, run the two curl commands in the install guide. The final step is to configure the agent to run with the Java or CFML application server. To do so, we need to append the Java agent, agent path, and optionally the password, license key, and cloud group to our Java arguments. If the password and license key are not set via the Java arguments, you must open the instance and set these manually to get started. Where the argument should be appended depends on the application server. For ColdFusion, this is the JVM config file. For Tomcat, this is normally the Saten file. For a Java run command, these arguments would be placed in line with the run command. For examples of each specific run type, you can consult the install documentation. The server I will be using is Lucy, so I will need to configure the Saten file. In the case of Lucy, the Saten file will not exist with the stock install, so we will create one using touch. Before we begin, you should ensure the application server is not running. With the file created, we can now add our Java arguments. To append the Java arguments, we export and extend the Java Ops variable, then copy and paste the arguments from the cloud UI. With the arguments in place, we can start the application server. When the application server is running, your instance will be connected to the cloud. You can test whether the instance is online in the final screen of the installation guide. With the instance online, you can now monitor, alert, and troubleshoot for the server and its applications. 